everybody, it's the Doll Circle, and today I'm reviewing two dolls at once, or I guess two dolls in this video, because I already opened up Ashlyn from the series, but I recently just got Apple and Maddie, so I figured do both at the same time. And these are from the Mirror Beach line, so it's the slim line Forever After High, and it's them in their swimsuits, of course, if you guys didn't guess from the title. And I really like that. I like the simplicity of the boxes and of them. I think like it's them dressed down, because we're so used to seeing them in big ball gowns. So they come in some boxes. They run about $16.99 at most stores. Um, might be high, a little higher or lower depending on what location you go to. But again, like really simple design on the box. Have little umbrellas by the logo and the name to kind of give you guys that beach feel, of course. And I mean, it's still normal box style, or excuse me, book style box. <laughs> Say that fast, but smaller. So I mean, that's literally the only difference in the overall packaging. I mean, you don't get as many accessories with them. Like these do not include stands, unfortunately. But they're so cute. I mean, I just love, 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 love the art. So I like how they still gave them their traditional colors and stuff on the packaging, but just simplified their outfits. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick little, just, you know, 360 the boxes before I cut them open and bring out the dolls and look at their hair and more detail on their outfit. So let's pop them out. All right, we got them out of the box. And these, like I said, these dolls do not include stands, so I wanted to just say that right up first. And I just used two stands from other dolls just to, like, make it easier to show you guys. So we're going to start off with Maddie since she's closer to me. I do like her hair. Originally, I did not like the hair on these dolls, uh, on the Maddie dolls, excuse me, just because her curls are kind of greasy looking. I can't even describe it. It was very odd. But this particular one, I kind of liked. I, I, mean, I saw her on the box, and I, that's why I picked her out of the other ones. I liked the placement of the curls. And unlike some of the other Maddies where it's just like, you know, purple mixed in everywhere, she just has two purple streaks going down the front around her face. So I actually really liked that. I felt that like that stood out a little bit for me. And her makeup is pretty simple, you know, kind of like a pinkish tone eyeshadow and a mauve, darker pink type of a lipstick to kind of go with her outfit. She does have this beautiful gold, uh, gold necklace that's dripping down her, and I like that a lot. One thing I do like about her cover-up is that it looks like a little tutu sticking out, and that underneath, they're like little shorts instead of like really like a high-cut swimsuit. So I like how they gave her more of like a sweeter, innocent-looking swimsuit than the other girls. I thought that kind of stood out for me, too. Her shoes are really simple. Like, they're cute, but I don't feel like they're very matty like I mean, the straps look like they're supposed to be some type of grain wood looking, and the back look like treats. I don't know. I, I didn't... The shoes, I'm not loving on this particular doll. But I like the swimsuit and the color set, and I like her hair. So I'll show you guys the back. It's all green back here. Like, it's all her normal mint color, except for the front. And then she has blue sunglasses on the top which I'm not sure if they're real. I think they're going to be uniquely molded. I was wondering if maybe they took like one of Briar's sunglasses from another doll and put it on here, but I think it's just unique to her. And then going to Apple, very much kind of resembling a mix between her fairest doll and then a little bit of her original. Her original did have a lot of black eyeshadow, so I think they kind of took that a little bit and then softened it a little bit more like the fairest one, but gave her darker lipstick on this one, like almost like a coral color. Her hair is very simple, light curl to it, nothing too crazy, not a lot of product in it. Maddie has a lot more product for sure. So still really soft, so kind of kind of reminds me a little bit more of her fairest doll, which was simpler in the hair. Her sunglasses are pink, which I find odd. If she's wearing red and gold and white and black, why would they not give her red or gold sunglasses? But eh, maybe they didn't want to do a red mix to it, so they gave her a little bit of color with that. Of course, her dress does, or excuse me, swimsuit really does look like something Apple would wear. Uh, I mean, it has the traditional like golden red that most of her outfits have. I do like the black and the white on the sides, and I like this around here. It makes me feel like I don't know something very royal about having the big collar on there. And then it's a high, a high low cut style cover up which is slit in the front. It has gold glitter all over it. And that's actually pretty sturdy glitter because it's kind of rubbing it to see if the glitter would come off and it's attached quite well. And I'd have to say her shoes are much better than Maddie's on this if I turn her to the side. Almost has like a Grecian feel to it, like with the like gold leaves wrapping around her foot and going down the heel. So I thought it was like almost like a Greek goddess looking type of doll, which matches also the necklace she's wearing too. And none of these dolls have earrings in case you guys were wondering. I know uh, some of the dolls do, but unfortunately they don't, and they don't come with rings. So these are really simple dolls, and I know a lot of people are saying, like, oh, the Mirror Beach, they're still $16.99, but they don't come with much. I agree with that. Like, they don't come with a lot of accessories, but I like 
giving them a different option than big ball gowns or big uh, fancy party dresses all the time. I like doing something a little different, especially with some of the new lines that are coming out forever after high. Like there's going to be a uh, Apple and Raven two pack, which is like a school spirit, and then in, like their school outfits. I like I like how they're switching it up a little bit, mixing up, not just them in dresses all the time. So I thought that was kind of cool. I'm really looking forward to seeing that uh, coming out later on this year. So comment below, what do you guys think of the Mirror Beach Collection? Again, this is kind of just a quick overview to show these dolls. Uh, they've been out for a little over right, two months almost, probably around the holidays, maybe a little less than that. Uh, I already opened Ashlyn, so if you guys want to check the review on Ashlyn, I posted that about a month ago, right around a month ago. So definitely check that out if you wanted to see her. I have to say I like them all. I really don't know what my favorite is. Comment below, let me know what you think uh, is your favorite out of the three that you can get out of this line. I hope they do make more. I would really like to see probably either a Cupid or a Raven in their swimsuit. I think that would be really awesome <laughs> to see what they would kind of look like. So as always, make sure to check out Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And like I said, comment below. I read them. I try to comment back as much as I can for you guys, okay? And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Post a video every single day. Some themed and some are just going to be random reviews like this. So as always, thanks for watching, you guys. Oh, one more thing. Hello, blonde moment. Apple, no offense. I forgot completely to, <laughs> to mention one of our cool other YouTubers. Definitely check his videos out. His name is Claudina9. We will post his link in the description below. He's super awesome. He does everything from reviews to makeup tutorials, which are really fabulous. I need to actually take notes from him because <laughs> my makeup is not up to par as his. So definitely check out his channel. He's really, really awesome, super sweet, and I definitely recommend, like I said, either check it out or subscribe to it because you should because I did. <laughs> Thanks so much, Claudia and I. Bye. <laughs>